Hi, my name is Patrick from GrowAce.com and welcome to the HID GrowLite 101 tutorial. GrowAce is the leading horticulture retailer in the country and has the best selection of indoor horticulture equipment anywhere. With a variety of different HID GrowLite kits to choose from, it might become overwhelming trying to figure out which GrowLite setup is right for you. Let's break down exactly what comes with the kit, why each item benefits you, and then explain which setup is best for your grow area. What makes up a complete grow light system are the ballast, the bulbs, the reflector, the timer, and the hanging system. A high intensity discharge bulb or HID bulbs are not your average plug and play lights. They require a ballast to help regulate and generate power to your bulb. A quality ballast will allow for consistent light wattage, comes with safety features, as well as a dimming feature. The Yield Lab Digital Ballast provides all these features as well as lightweight compact design for easy setup. The dimming feature provides answers to certain growth situations. You can lower the heat and light intensity of a bulb during hot summer days or provide less intense light for clones or seedlings. The superlumen setting increases the lumen intensity beyond the rated wattage the light normally produces. This will cause the bulb to degrade quicker, but most growers replace their lights with new ones after every grow season. The benefits most growers because it provides an additional 15% of intense light and will increase your garden size as well as your harvest yields. A 1000 watt light with the superlumens feature provides an additional 150 watts. The 600 watt light provides an additional 90 watts and a 400 watt light produces an additional 60 watts. We do not recommend using this setting if you replace your bulbs every two harvests. The two types of bulbs you'll ever need for this system are the high pressure sodium bulb and the metal halide bulb. The MH bulb is used for the growing stage of a plant because it simulates spring and summer lighting. The HPS bulb is used for the flowering stage because of its intense yellow and orange spectrums, simulating late summer and early fall lighting. A 24 hour timer is provided in all Yield Lab grow light kits for proper light setup. You use it to help your lights emulate certain seasons. To emulate long summer days for your one to two week old plants, Use the MH bulb and set your timer at 24 to 18 hours of light. This arrangement is proven to strengthen branches, stems, produce leaves, and stimulate root growth. To emulate the flowering and fruiting seasons, you want to use the HPS bulb and set the timer exactly at 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. This arrangement encourages chemical changes within the plant and tells it it's time for it to bear fruit. This is why a timer is essential to growing indoors. We carry a variety of reflector styles but they really come down to two different types, open and sealed air-cooled reflectors. Our open reflectors are the wing and umbrella reflectors. Our open reflectors are great for smaller wattage systems or grower areas with high ceilings because they don't come with their own heat exhaust options. High ceilings will allow for the heat to rise up and away from your plants for a cooler grow area. Sealed air-cooled reflectors like the cool tube, cool hood, and other varieties provide an option to independently exhaust the heat away from the bulb. This option is important because it allows for more versatility and room for growth in your garden. A grow bulb produces 360 degrees of light and more than 50% of that light is wasted without a reflector. Each reflector is made with aluminum and designed to bounce 99% of that wasted light to reusable light for your garden. Each reflector type provides a specific advantage for growing plants and maintaining a grow room's atmosphere. A wing reflector is lightweight and focuses the light down towards your plants by utilizing its wings. They are budget friendly and the lightest of all grow reflectors. The umbrella reflector is large and reflects nearly all light emitted from the bulb. It's great for larger grow areas. The cool hood is the traditional reflector setup for most grow areas because of its versatility. First, you're able to focus nearly all light from the bulb and second, it gives you an option to exhaust the heat which makes this hood great for any size grow room. The cool tube and cool tube wing act like budget wing reflectors with an air cooled option. With the cylindrical design of the reflector, it gives you less drag when you want to push cool air through it. The cool tube acts like a budget air-cooled hood option with a larger wingspan for a bigger coverage area. The last part of the grow light setup is the hangers. Yield Lab offers these heavy-duty rope ratchet adjustable hangers, which are good for raising or lowering your grow light. This is important to have because when your plants grow taller, you want to have the flexibility to move your lights so you won't burn your plants. Each grow light kit comes with three wattage levels. 400 watt lights cover a maximum area of five feet by five feet. The recommended height distance above your plant should be one to four feet tall. 600 watt lights cover a maximum area of six and a half feet by six and a half feet. 
The recommended height distance above your plant should be one and a half to five feet tall. The 1000 watt lights cover a maximum area of eight feet by eight feet. And the recommended height distance above your plant should be two foot to six foot tall. The height of where your lights should be positioned is determined by your grow room height and the reflector style. You generally want the light higher above the plant if you're using an open reflector and closer to the plant if you're using the sealed air-cooled reflectors. Many growers will agree that the closer the lights the better because the light intensity can penetrate further down and supply light to the lower plant growth. But doing so can cause light burn and harm your plants. To test this, put your hand right over your plants and right under your light and leave it there for 30 seconds. If it's too hot for you, then it's too hot for your plants and you'll need to adjust the lights a little further away from the plants. Finding the perfect balance between distance and heat will effectively produce happy plants in your indoor garden. Now that you know what comes with the grow light kit, the wattage level, and grow area provides, take this knowledge and find the perfect HID grow light kit you're looking for. This is Patrick from GrowAce.com and have yourself an amazing harvest. Thanks for watching.